Hello, it's Bob from Boston, outside Boston, Massachusetts. It's the last day of the 48th week on the diet. It's May 3rd, 2015. <clears throat> so this video is in two parts. The first part, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I do a short reading to see how my speaking is going. And the second part, I talk about the events of last week. Okay, here's, here's my reading. There is never a fee or eligibility requirement. One call is all it takes. Staff are available during normal business hours, Monday to Friday. After hours, appointments are available and needed. All service and staff conversations are confidential. Okay, that's the end of my reading. Now, a lot happened last week, so I took some notes to uh, remember what I wanted to cover. First was the UTI that I had over two weeks ago. I, there are some lasting effects of that. Uh, the PT person, physical therapy person was here on uh, Friday, and I was only able to do four laps. And there were four shaky laps. Pre-UTI, I could do five laps, and I felt pretty good. It was really solid. So there's definitely some loss, and uh, you know, but it wasn't as good as I thought, or as bad either. So it's sort of somewhere in the middle. So those are the effects of the UTI. By the way. I finished the antibiotics yesterday, so it's all over now. The second thing was I have a new symptom. The hearing in this ear is is less. I thought it was an MS symptom, but my nurse thinks it might be just wax buildup. So I'm going to a uh, an ear, nose, and throat guy on Tuesday, and uh, I'll see what the results are. So that's, that's another new thing to happen. The third is, uh, I tried eating some macadamia nuts, and my foot bloated up, so I can't eat nuts anymore. I now am more uh, sure that omega-6 fats are the reason all nuts have a lot of omega-6. So do carrots, believe it or not, and chicken and avocado. And I, I have to put up with the pain and bloating on my feet or stop eating those things. Uh, so I will, I'll stop eating them, I think. I tried eating just two macadamia nuts was all I had to do, and my feet were immediately booted up. I, cu I couldn't believe it. So I'm gonna, I'm, I can't eat nuts anymore, or anything with omega-6. The good news is the ice cream seems to be okay. I didn't try it, but I just looked at the nutrition table, and chocolate ice cream has an acceptable ratio omega-6 to omega-3. So that's that's one bright spot. But the biggest thing that happened was I went to a functional medicine doctor for an update about what the test showed, and it was very interesting. That was on Monday I went to back to her. And uh, she had previously, last month she took blood, urine, and stool tests, and she looked at what bacteria were growing in my, my, in my stomach, and she looked at everything, and it's, she, asked, she also gave me a copy of the reports. Very interesting. The first thing was, even though I'm eating this so-called, uh, well, it is the very, uh, very good walled diet. Most, I was not in the green zone on lots of nutrients. And most of my, I would say I was my, on average in the yellow 
But the, what they do is they give you red, yellow, and green. And only three or four things were green. The rest of them were mostly yellow and a couple of red. So, um, this is, she looks at, you know, she has a lot of experience, so she was able to look at this, and she came up with three recommendations. The first was that I had a vitamin B1 deficiency. So she gave me a, a B1 shot in her office. The second and more problematic of it was that I'm not uh, properly ass uh, assimilating the foods I eat. I'm not getting the nutrients out of it. And that sort of backs what I, I heard the tests up because the tests also showed that I was mostly in the yellow, not in the green, as I would have thought. So she's having, so in, terms of the, in, in addition to the B1 shot, she said that I should take enzymes with each meal, and she told me which enzymes to take. So I'm going to take those. It's called digest enzymes, or the bottle is called digest enzymes. So I'm supposed to take that with every meal to help me uh, assimilate the nutrition of the foods I eat. The, uh, the other thing that she told me to do was to take uh, a multivitamin called Bio Biotics Research, and that's a company, and the name of the vitamin is Vasculosirt, V-A-S-C-U-L-O-S-I-R-T. And I have to take five pills twice a day. That's, well, there's a lot of stuff in there, and I, I I'm taking that. I started, by the way, I started her therapies uh, on Wednesday. The last thing was, she also said that this is also very interesting. They did tests where they measured... The, the bacteria in my gut, they call the microbiome. And she said that it wasn't really diverse enough. So she recommended that I stop taking one probiotic that I had been taking and instead replace it with something called VSL number three. So basically, there was the, the B1 shot, the enzymes, the vasculosert, and VSL number three. And she also mentioned that I might want to look into uh, glutathione. It, she, it's very difficult to take that directly, but the cofactors of glutathione the one thing that I don't have is NAC. They call this NAC, which I ordered from Amazon. So I'll take that too. I, and that's, that's the end of the functional medicine. Very interesting. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll see where this goes. Oh, right. She also mentioned that I might be interested to take stem cell therapy. Uh, I don't think I'm there yet. She says it's very expensive. It'll cost about ten thousand dollars, and I'm maybe at some point I'll do that. But I'm try these pills first, and they give us two or three months and see if it, if I feel better, and um, you know we'll see we'll take it from there. Maybe by the end of the year, if I'm still not doing better. I will go for stem cell therapy, but not right away. And find, the other thing that happened this week is I started taking LDN, low-dose naltrexone. And every, people say it either does nothing or there are other people who swear by it. I've been, I started on Thursday, I guess, so I took my third dose 
last night and I it was the one time that my legs were not spasming during sleep. So it wasn't it was you know, I saw some hard results. But it was just one day so far, you know, but initially it might be doing something. I don't know. We'll have to continue on that and see how it goes. But the first week will be, you. I'll take one milligram a day, and the second week I take two milligrams a day, and the third week I'll take three milligrams. And I'll be reporting on, you know, just what that's doing for me, if anything. Like I said, on the third day that I took it at one milligram. I did notice that there was no spasm last night while sleeping. So I don't, you know, we'll see what happens. So, uh, I guess that's it then. Those, those, a lot of things happen this week. And, uh, I'll make a video next Sunday to describe what happened on week 49. That, uh, tomorrow will be the first day of 49th week on the diet. Um, I guess that's it. Bye-bye.